So, welcome to the Love Gurus panel. So, uh, many people have asked me why I would want to organize a Love Gurus panel when I am known as a health expert. I've written uh, this book, Sugar Shock, and um, they thought it was um, kind of strange. So, I have about four reasons. The first one is that back in 1998, because of what I was eating, my boyfriend dumped me. <laughs> and um, you don't have to go, ah, because it gave me a chapter in my book, Sugar Shock. <laughs> so in chapter one, you will hear that what I ate, basically sweets and refined carbs, drove me to um, moodiness, depression, anxiety, picking fights. So, even though I have assembled love gurus here today, I'm going to start briefly by telling you that what you eat is very important in terms of um, getting a love life and keeping your love. And my, fr my friend Diana Kirshner here is a first love guru. Deborah Byrne is a second love guru. Tamsin Fadal Fadal is the third one. And Matt Titus and Sherry Amatenstein. And the second reason that I've assembled this is that for some very strange reason, call it um, serendipity, over the last few years I've become friends with all of them. <laughs> In one way after another. Sherry was my first friend we met years ago at a journalism meeting. I had her on my radio show. I have a radio show called Gab with the Gurus. Matt and Tamsin were also on my radio show, and I had the pleasure of meeting them. Deborah and met at a National Speakers Association meeting. Diana and I met at an event for authors. So it occurred to me, well, I have all these really cool author friends who are love gurus, so why not let them help you to find and attract love? So, without, so, the first, um, as I mentioned, Diana Kirshner, she is author of the best-selling book, want to hold it up? Love in 90 Days, The Essential Guide to Finding Your Own True Love. Deborah Burnt, she is author of the brand new best-selling book, Let Love In, Open Your Heart and Mind to Attract Your Ideal Partner. Matt Titus and Tamson Fadal are authors of the best-selling books, two of them, Why Hasn't He Called, How Guys Really Think and How to Get the Right One Interested in You, and Why Hasn't He Proposed, Go From the First Date to Setting the Date. And then we have Sherry Amatenstein, and she is the author of The Complete Marriage Counselor, Relations, Once You Find Somebody, Relationship Saving Advice from America's Top 50 Couples Therapists. So, let's begin first. Some of you have wondered, I, I promised on my blog, which is sugarshockblog.com, that I would tell you about three foods that help love and three foods that hinder love. So, number one on my list of three foods that hinder love, <coughs> sugar, soda, lots and lots of it, not good for your love life. Number two, that's really bad for your love life. Lots of alcohol leads you to do things you might not want to do. Plus, alcohol also can raise your blood sugar. Number three, you're going to hate me, but, but hold off your hate for a second. Number three, chocolate. Okay, but, but number one in, in, in foods that actually can attract love. Hold on one sec. Hold on one sec. Number one, foods that can attract love, also chocolate. But we're talking about two different kinds of chocolate. So the chocolate with um, milk chocolate that has lots of sugar in it, that's not going to be good for you. But the dark chocolate, that actually has a lot of antioxidants and wonderful properties, so it is good for your love life. So does that, you were going to interrupt me, is that what you were going to say? No, no, I was going to ask you about the alcohol. Sometimes you do things that you might not normally do ah. during, uh, I thought that might be a good thing. I wasn't sure. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you mean to say? Um, I have more than my share. I've had more than my share of conversations with women friends who have had a number of uh, drinks, and then they were like, "Oh darn, I did something I shouldn't have done." <laughs> That's good for one person and bad for the other, right? Um, well, I'm thinking of um, a number of conversations with women. Tamsin, back me up here. <laughs> 
I'm just kidding. Really, I understand. Okay. Well, we'll get into your advice, which is, um, what is it? Uh, wait eight days before you get intimate. So sometimes yeah, alcohol leaves I, you. I think. Or I think was it like three months? Three months. Okay. Yeah. Three, not eight days. Three months. I'm right. sorry. <laughs> so three dry months, I guess. <laughs> three dry months. <laughs> so anyhow, if you have alcohol, <laughs> it might lead you to forego your desire to wait. Right. I mean, yeah. I've, found, I've heard that. Anyhow, okay, so let's go. The reason I have people lined up in this way is that everybody brings a special perspective to the subject. So, Dr. Diana, who can tell us actually about deadly dating patterns. Okay, well, that was a perfect lead in, I tell you. Uh, the whole uh, notion of the alcohol, people really use alcohol a lot in terms of feeling like they need it to relax. And often what happens is it throws off the judgment. And one of the deadly dating patterns, one of the deadly dating patterns that uh, is most, most common is called the flame out, where you jump in too deep, too soon, right? You meet each other, you're sure, this is different, this is amazing, she's incredible. Next thing you know, you're having five hour dates and you know, you're in the sack and then the whole thing goes to heck in a handbasket. That's the flame out. Um, another really common deadly dating pattern is of course the hermit where you are really hiding out. You're, and when you're out there, you're still hiding out because you're really uh, being very shy. You're not giving any go signals. You're not making eye contact. You're not doing the magic things which have to do with making eye contact and smiling and saying hello. These are the simple magic things that really, really, really work. And the third thing that people do with the deadly dating patterns, very, very common, is the not perfect I'll pass. And that's where you're picky, 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 you know. Oh my God, he's too young, he's too old, he's too fat, he's too poor, he's too rich, he's too <laughs> good looking, you name it. <laughs> or she, as the case may be. 